Uh, welcome everyone to the Jenkins Docs Office Hours. This is the European edition on July 14th, Thursday. Uh, today we have a few action items to review, uh, some news about things that have been released, things that are coming up, and any updates that we have for some of the previous topics that we've covered. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, with our Google Sum of Code, projects going on. Uh, we have Vihan here who's working on some wonderful things that uh, he'll be able to share some updates on as well. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, first things first, Mark, if you want to just share where uh, you're at as far as status goes on the mailing list and the blog post. Yeah, so no progress on either of those. Sorry, they'll have to wait for our next session. Okay. That works. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, some things that happened this week. So 2.346.2 was just released yesterday. Uh, everything went smoothly, successfully, completely. Uh, and one of the highlights that this actually brought along with it was it replaced the install plugins shell script uh, with direct pointer to the plugin installation manager tool. So uh, instead of relying on uh, the scripting, they now have a direct interaction they have an actual tool to use so that it's that it just makes life a lot easier. Uh, and then 2.359 was also released. Uh, this just includes updates for more regarding the Java 11 update. Uh, and in addition to that, preparing for the Jetty 9 to Jetty 10 transition uh, as that goes along right with the Java 11 requirement. Uh, Basil Pro is still helping us work on that and doing some work on that side of things. Uh, and as we get closer to having that completed, we can provide more updates. Uh, in addition to all of that, this is, DevOps world is coming up in September. Uh, really looking forward to it. It's going to be a really wonderful time. And there's a lot of great stuff planned already. Um, the uh, 27th, if I'm not mistaken, is the Jenkins Contributor Summit. Uh, and where uh, it'll just be a place for any Jenkins contributors to meet, talk, get faces put to those contributions, um, and just be able to make those connections that uh, while we have them online, now we can make them in real life as well. So uh, it's coming up in, uh, like I said, September. Uh, registration is open now, uh, and there's a lot more information available on uh, the Jenkins.io site for DevOps World 2022. Um, Mark, do you have anything to add about the Jenkins Contributor Summit and DevOps World before we move on? Bruno's leading the Bruno's leading the agenda work, preparing it. He and Alyssa Tong, uh, we've got some really good topics, and we'll continue announcing that publicly. Bruno, anything you want to share there? Uh, no, I'm afraid there is nothing really available for the time being. So maybe next week, uh, I should post on communityjenkins.io the prepare agenda, but for the time being, no, there will be surprises. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, so next up on our list, our agenda today. Uh, so Vihan, would you care to take a few minutes and tell us um, any updates, any uh, progress, anything that you've had with the uh, projects you're working on? Sure. So since our last meeting, I have worked on completing the tests for the pipeline metadata utils, and the tests are now complete from my end, and they require some review because it's a, it's a slightly big PR. So waiting a review from Kristen, and once that gets merged, we will release that artifact since CD is not set up yet, so we'll have to do it manually. And after that, uh, we can finally use that uh, inside the main repository, which was the end goal. And after that is done, I think uh, we can also try moving the main repository from Java 8 to Java 11. And that would probably mark the end of my coding phase one. And we have our uh, midterm uh, evaluation on 21st July. So that's a meeting there. So till then I hope to close this up and maybe uh, add this to my uh, work done list. So yeah. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, is there Anything you'd want to show, show or share? If not, no worries. I just wanted to make sure you have the opportunity if there's anything uh, neat that you wanted to put out there for us. Um, nothing as such. Everything is good. OK, great. Thank you so much. And um, just as a side note too, Vihan, uh, the pipeline steps reference page with the filter, the search filter and everything, um, 
really, really great. Uh, I actually was able to show it to some of my colleagues on the documentation team uh, and just like how wonderful it functions and helps to navigate the page in cases where there's a lot of information on the page. So uh, thank you so much for, uh, you know, just making that a, a reality for the Jenkins documentation and, and for everyone else. Glad to hear that. Thanks a lot. Yeah, of course. Um, and then uh, one of the uh, topics that come up in the last week or so is that Gavin Mogan, one of the Gen Jenkins governance board members, has proposed that we create a new commercial support page uh, for our vendors. Uh, as of right now, it's a little bare bones, but uh, he's actually gone ahead and put a small prototype together. And uh, just to see what it looks like. Um, it's a lot more streamlined. It's a lot cleaner looking. It's much better designed. Um, but the effect that you can also filter through different offerings from the vendors themselves helps just narrow down these results and get people to where they need to be. Um, some things that we've talked about before too, as uh, well as having this filtering and offerings, um, direct links to support so that there's less uh, that many less steps for the user to interact with before they get what they need. Um, and just being able to filter through and, and share what the uh, vendors have in a more refined way, more clearly um, separating out by things like support or training or uh, other like custom builds, making sure that this is all very clear. Um, and so compared to what we have right now, that's a miles better. It's a, it's a night and day difference looks wise. Um, but yeah, this is something that uh, I would definitely recommend checking out if you have time. Uh, this is something that any feedback is welcome for. This is uh, in a community undertaking. So more feedback and information from the community uh, would be just super appreciated. Um, and this is obviously a work in progress. So uh, any idea is a good idea, so. Uh, yeah. And then uh, there's also a separate look and feel PR that was uh, submitted. So now this is a suggestion to update uh, the Jenkins site as a whole. Uh, things like the background, things like the nav bar, um, and uh, the, uh, this user um, was able to actually go ahead and make the changes and review a lot of the suggestions that were made. Um, so now we can actually check it out. And this is what the suggested Jenkins page now looks like. Um, I was able to take a look at this with Mark earlier, uh, but the new background color, the navigation, um, a lot of this stuff looks really nice. There are some uh, pieces that need to be uh, reworked, such as the video player being a little too low for the screen fold, uh, at least on my monitor, um, and just making sure that the other sites will function in the same way or have the same impact uh, going from the main Jenkins page to plugins does not offer the same background, but that's something that we'll figure out as community and check in with Gavin Mogan about since uh, he'll be able to confirm a lot of that for us as well. Yeah, so Kevin, could you could you yeah. on this page navigate, open the documentation link and let's look at uh, pipeline actually, while we've got Vihan here, let's be sure that, so pipeline steps reference on the bottom left of the resources section, Okay, and does the filtering still work? I assume it does, so check out or yeah, milestone, perfect. Good, yep. all right. Yeah, and it's a nice transition. It looks really clean and smooth across uh, all of the, the Jenkins direct uh, like documentation blog sites. Um, the plugins, like I said, are a little different uh, and community still got the black bar, so. No, no. Okay, so there you you just oh. suffered a transition. So go back. Oh, and, and that's that's okay because mm -hmm. plugins does that. So now from here, click community. Okay. Yep. So everything actually is all set there. Um, is in this case, then Mark, is it really just the plugins page that's separate from all these? It is, and and we oh. know that the plugin site is a different site in terms of how it's managed and how mm -hmm. it's how it's maintained, and therefore. It, it needs extra thought. Could you click the download button just as one more check over the top right hand corner? Uh, yeah, sorry, let me just. 
and it it does it still looks fine good mm -hmm. okay thank you yep of course thank you and um and yeah one of the things too just as a to make sure make a note of was the the font was a little changed or was changed in the initial suggestions so they went back to the uh correct font for for jenkins and it does look that much better just having the right font sizing and and uh formatting there so uh yeah there's a lot of great stuff being suggested for the community and for jenkins as a whole um if you want to review them yourself this is these links are here in the uh office hours notes to make sure that they're available uh definitely check it out share any feedback that you might have uh if there's any suggestions for things like colors or uh any other navigation points or anything you think of by all means everyone wants to know and you feel free to share that um the only the other thing about the suggestions is that um the english language site works fine if we switch to the chinese language version uh it's not working right now, so we have to determine whether or not that impact is going to be severe enough, uh, or if uh, it's even going to be of concern at this point in time. So, again, things that will be figured out once we get a little further along on that. Um, coming up in the next month, we have the 2.346.3 Jenkins LTS release. Uh, the change log and upgrade guide are going to be needed as usual. And uh, August 10th is the expected release date right now. Um, that work has not been started yet, but will be starting it shortly. Tim Jacome will uh, create a uh, start the thread for the release leads and we'll get everything sorted out on that front uh, to have the change log and upgrade guide ready to go. Uh, could you, Kevin, could you add to the notes there? That yeah in our session on the 20 28th mm -hmm. we should review so january july 28th we should review uh review the change log because by then there should be usually we'll have the the, the pull request ready by the two weeks prior to the release so it will have been just barely created by that point. Okay, great. Okay, great. Uh, is there anything else on the two, three, four, six point three mark release mark? That's it for me. Okay, great. Uh, and yeah, so uh, we've brought this up in the last few weeks, but uh, with the requirement from for Java eleven in the weekly release line, the LTS release is going to match that in September, uh, and at that point in time the Java 11 requirement will be part of uh, Jenkins as a whole. Uh, there won't be any difference between uh, the weekly releases, monthly uh, LTS. Uh, and so Java 8 will no longer be supported at that point, uh, but uh, we're getting ahead of ourselves now to make sure we're getting out ahead of it now to make sure that people are aware and that uh, this is not a surprise when it happens. Um, I've gone through some of the do existing documentation for Java and updated it to ship to explain that fact and point out that there is a slight difference for the time being. Uh, and once the LTS actually uh, is released, we'll be able to go back. I'll be able to go back in and update those so that it uh, is aligned on just the Java 11 aspect of that. Um, so a little bit of a difference for now, but uh, it's going to catch up and uh, when that happens, we'll need a new change log and upgrade guide for uh, that, of course, and uh, we'll start figuring that out, I'm sure, in uh, the earlier parts of August, if not um, a little after that. So more details will be available as that comes. Um, cool. That covers everything we have on the agenda. Uh, Mark, Bruno, Bihan, did, you, did anyone have anything else they'd like to share or uh, throw out, put on the agenda to discuss? Nothing from me. I don't, thank you. All clear. Great. Thank you so much. Um, so uh, we'll stop the recording in a second and uh, the video will be available.